so namaste to all welcome in this morning session where we are practicing exercise 2 observing the interaction between the self and the body so let me brief step 1 to 5 then we will start with your observations so in exercise 2 we are observing the body by the self we are we are observing the interaction between the self and the body so in step 1 we are trying to observe the two realities the self and the body myself and the body so i can observe activities in me in my imagination like desire thought expectations and based on this observation observation of activities i can say that i exist and i can also observe activities in the body and based on that observation i can say that body also exist so in step 1 we are observing myself as a conscious unit i am observing body as a material unit where physiochemical activities are taking place so objective of step 1 is to see myself as a unit conscious unit to see the body as a material unit and on the basis of this observation to reach to a conclusion that both reality exist separately distinctly so in this sense step 1 is important because in step 1 i am able to see myself i am able to see the body with this in step 2 we are trying to observe the interaction between the self and the body and i am trying to observe the interaction between me and the body so i can see that i give instruction to the body for example if i instruct body to wake up it wakes up if i instruct body to walk it walks i instruct to body sit down it sits down so i can give instruction to the body and this instruction is an information similarly many sensations are taking place in the body but i read only those sensations that i consider to be important and this sensation is also an information so in that sense the interaction between the self and the body is only in the form of information so we can say that only information is being exchanged between me and the body no not of any physiochemical things so this is objective of step 2 to see the interaction in the form of information now in step 3 we are observing who is decision maker so i can see with little observation that i am the one who decides to give instruction to the body body cannot instruct me i am the one who decides to give instruction to the body and i have choices when to instruct the body so when i think it is important to instruct the body i instruct the body and i am the one who decides to read specific sensations from the body so in that sense we can say decisions regarding the exchange of information between me and the body are entirely mine 
so i interact with the body as in when i require i interact with the body time to time not continuously and body acts according to me so i am decision maker this i am observing in step 3 and once i once i am clear that i am decision maker then i can also see i can observe i have potential to observe myself the body i am doer because i can decide in fact i decide what to do with this body and i am experiencer because i experience happiness or unhappiness of my decisions so i am seer i am doer i am enjoyer so body is just an instrument if i am clear about this we can say that we are not bound with body i am the one who is holding my body i am the one who instruct my body i am the one who decides what to do with body and i experience happiness and unhappiness in body only physiochemical activities are taking place and it is not affecting me if i have not decided if i decide then i may get affected from the activities of the body so i am seer i am doer and i am enjoyer body is just an instrument this we are seeing in step 3 with this in step 4 we are observing the sensation any particular sensation any time and while observing this sensation i am trying to observe am i the sensation am i in the sensation am i separate from the sensation so if i ask this question while observing any sensation definitely i will get answer i am not the sensation i am not in the sensation and there is a separation between me and the sensation so we have to observe this while reading any sensation and we can reach to the conclusion that i am separate from the sensation i am at at a distance from the sensation that's why i have a choice to read sensation or not read sensation so this is step four and with this in step five we are trying to see different sources of sensation so many sensations are taking place in my body in step 5, we are trying to find out the sources. So this we are trying to do in step 5. So suppose I have a headache. It may happen because of my contradictory thought. It means something happening in my imagination and it is impacting my body. I have a headache, it may be possible because of some outside environment. So outside it is too cold, my body temperature is low. So there is a possibility to get a headache. Similarly, some physiochemical changes are happening in the body. That's why I have a headache. Or I am interacting with some person and his or her words has made me in contradiction that's why there is a headache in my imagination so sensations are taking place but source can be varied and in this step five we are trying to identify that source why we are trying to identify that source if i am aware the right source then it will be easy to handle that sensation then it will be easy for us to decide what to do with that sensation so for example 
if I have contradiction in my imagination and it is impacting my body and if I am clear that this sensation that happening in the body is because of my contradictory thought. So I will try to re resolve myself. This is not this is, it is not important that time to address the body. It is important to address myself. So now the problem is identified that due to contradiction in my imagination, there is a problem in my body. So if it is clear, I will work on myself. So we are trying to find out the sources because with clarity, we can handle it. Now we will be knowing where the problem is, what to do with this sensation, with myself. That's why this step five is important. That's why to find out the sources is important for us. So up to here, we have talked about these steps. So if we have any observation regarding these sources, step one to four, we can share, then we will move ahead. But yeah, when I was doing this assignment, I was reminded of my nature. But yeah, it so happens that when the other person, when somebody is not telling truth about myself, when they are putting false allegations on me, immediately I go to reaction mode, trying to prove that I am right, trying to justify that this is what has happened. So this is one way. In the extreme and worst cases, Baya, I collapse so badly that I decide I decide not to talk. I decide not to share. I decide not to justify what has happened. I simply suffer within myself and keep silent. Also, this I could observe by uh, this second way, totally collapsing within myself and not able to move forward is only because of the first case. Since I failure, since in the past it has happened that I have failed so many times that I am unable to prove myself. So those failures, as I was made as a victim, At the same cases, I decide, okay, let it be. I don't want to talk about that. Like that, I was behaving by ya. Just I could uh, see within myself. So, I'm getting emotional also by ya. Because I'm reminded of so many things that has happened in the past. Uh, so kindly uh, <laughs> help me to solve step by step by uh, these two states of mind uh, when things are totally false by uh, thank you so much this is my observation as well as reflection okay so now we it is nice, Didi, that you are trying to understand it step by step. <clears throat> and you are also and you are also able to see what is happening in me and what is happening in my body. You know? So something happening in my imagination. I am in reaction. I am getting victim of it. And at the same time, we can observe that my body is also getting impacted by this contradictory state of my imagination. So body is also a victim and consciousness is also a victim 
of this outside interaction. So both are victim. But let's try to understand step by step what is happening in this case. So we can see this slide. And now I will refer this slide. And with this slide, I will discuss your situation, Didi. So let's start with step one, events outside behavior of other human being. So some person you know, is interacting with me and he is interacting with me means he is saying something about me. And when he says something about me, his words come into my ear. This is first thing that happened at the level of body. So suppose some person has said false about you. So what is the first step? First step is his voice or sound comes into our ear. And when it reaches to our ear, some physiochemical changes happen in my body. And this is happening at the level of body. For body, it is a sound, nothing else. So for example, if a person is using abusive word, so word means a sound comes to your eyes and when it this sound touches your ear, some physiochemical changes take place. Now that are abusive word or not abusive word, at the level of body, a physiochemical change will take place, nothing else. That's why it is written that effect on the body, sensation in the body. So now there is a sensation in the body and I take decision to read the sensation. Now it is happening at the level of self. So some sensation took place in my body, in my ear. Now I decide to read it or not to read it. So when decision takes place, this is happening in the self. So once I take decision, now I have to read what this person has said. So I decisively go to that place in the body uh, near the ear, read that sensation. And when I read this sensation, I associate meaning to the sensation. And when I associating meaning to the sensation, now my sanskars are also involved into it. And so why I am able to understand that words, that this is not good words, etc. Because I know that language. So I have language in my imagination based on the language i give some meaning to that sensation sensation that has happened in my body so if you see at the level of sensation sensation is sensation is a physical chemical activity i associate meaning with this sensation because i know that language so Suppose a person saying the same thing in Chinese and I don't know the Chinese language. Then it will be a simple as sound for us. Nothing else. Neither I will be happy, neither I will be unhappy. In fact, after a few minutes, I may start ignoring it. I may take decision to read another sensation. So at the level of body, it is a sound because I don't know Chinese. But since I know the English language, I know Hindi language. 
due to this hindi language or english language i give some meaning to that sensation and when i give meaning my sanskars are included and you know, in giving the meaning and my sanskar may be based on knowing or may be based on assuming so all this happening in the level of self at the level of body only one thing has happened a sensation has taken place no, that's all now i decide to read the sensation it happens in my body i know language because i know language i associate some meaning to that word it has happened into myself in myself in conjunction with my sanskar and if my sanskar are not based on reality you know knowing of relationship harmony and coexistence then i get influenced and it is if it is based on knowing then i may not influenced so with my sanskar i am i will be influenced or not influenced this will happen in me and based on that influence i will have a feeling of relationship or i may have a feeling of opposition and in in your case because i have a feeling of opposition that's why i am in reaction inside my consciousness inside me inside my imagination and based on my sanskar i decide whether to react or respond but because i am in a reaction it means my sanskars are not based on my the not based on knowing the reality reality of relationship harmony and coexistence so i, I decide to react so i decide to react then i instruct my body now i am instructing my body to say like this to produce language like this and all this is framed in me because of my reaction now i have to express i have to prove myself right so i decide my uh, i instruct my body so first i decide to express outside then i instruct my body say like this and when i decide some words comes out of my body you know and this is expression outside now i am expressing with my body expressing myself with my body and what is my expression this time is to prove myself correct so if we, we go step by step this is happening now we will read these steps these steps again you know with the right sanskar so let's understand with your case again so some person has said about you you know and that words have come to your body there is an effect on your body sensation in the body this has happened at the level of body now i have decided to read this sensation that's why you have read that sensation now i am giving meaning to that sensation because i know that language when i am giving that meaning my sanskar are involved in this now if i know the reality reality of human being that every human being is a coexistence of self and body and at the level of self everyone has potential to see the reality or you can say i am able to see intention and competence in simple word and my sanskar are based on reality are governed by reality so now i am not focusing of the word of that person now i will focus on the intention of that person if i focus on the intention of that person then the feeling 
that will arise in my in me will make me comfortable because i have started with the feeling of trust because my sanskar are now based on the under uh, based on the clarity of harmony relationship and coexistence so this time i am able to see his or her intention because i am able to see his or her intention so my feeling my feeling is not otherwise now i have a feeling of trust and with this feeling of trust i am comfortable within me now i am not deciding to react i am deciding to respond and because my sanskars are now governed by the reality so i do not decide to react i decide to respond and when i take decision that i have to respond it then i instruct my body to say this word to say this language this word and i express outside so what is happening in your case when you give meaning to that sensation there is a lack of clarity of this relationship harmony and coexistence in the lack of that clarity i am influenced with my feeling and i am influenced with my feeling that's why i am in a reaction i am in a reaction that's why i decide to express outside with anger and i am expressed with my body now i am trying to prove that you are wrong i am right but with the right sanskar first i can be in a comfortable state and right sanskar means now i am able to see intention of other person and i am also able to see that his or her words are as per his or her sanskar so i read the sens uh, sensation i read the words i give meaning now i am giving meaning with the feeling of trust because i know the reality intention and competence with feeling of trust i am comfortable inside and with this comfortability i am decide to respond not to react and when i am thinking to respond it will again make me comfortable because i am thinking of respond response with this if i express outside so i am comfortable and telling him what you are not able to see in me so this can happen comfortably but when this self comes into picture my sanskar comes into picture and at the level of sanskar i am not able to find out whether it is based on the reality or not so if it is not based on reality i may react i may respond if it is based on reality then i will respond to this situation so i will be in comfortability and i will respond outside also this is from my side didi now you tell me if you have any other clarification or want any other addition from me i can add it into ji sir Uh, thank you so much, Vaya. I'm able to get a clear picture. Uh, uh, again, two more questions, Vaya. So, even mm -hmm. if it is a false allegation against me, I can choose to respond. For that, at that moment, what I have to do, Vaya? And my second question, the second case, I totally collapse within myself. and i don't want to talk i want to avoid that person this also how can i take it by now otherwise i am able to get uh, the step by step where i was going wrong that and all very clear by now thank you so much yes so once i am in reaction and i don't know my potential i am not aware of myself my potential my potential to observe myself my potential to correct my sanskar 
then i am helpless and i want to be happy the way that i will show that person that you are wrong and you know? if he accept or he will accept that he is wrong then i will be happy this i have assumed that i will be happy when he or she will accept his or her mistake but if i am aware i have potential to observe myself i have potential to observe my sanskar i have potential to reevaluate my sanskar on the basis of the understanding of this relationship harmony and coexistence then i will not feel helpless i will not collapse because now yeah. i am able to evaluate my feeling yeah. if i am not aware of this potential then i will feel yeah. helpless and i will yeah. collapse to to bhaiya right so this collapse is not because of other person this collapse yeah. is because of i am not aware of my potential i am not taking responsibility of my feelings that's why i am in a collapse state mm -hmm. so be aware next time when you read this sensation so suppose that person comes you know again mm -hmm. you know, and what will happen image will come to your eyes mm -hmm. okay and you will decide whether to read this image or not once you decide yes i have to read this image then you will read and because at the level of body only image you know is creating some sensation so once i decide to read this image and when i read this image i will read this image along with my sanskar state of sanskar and if i am not able to resolve within myself that i have potential to resolve myself if i am not aware of it again presence of that person even if he is not saying anything you will be in a reactive state again you will collapse yourself you know so this collapse is because of i am not aware of my potential not because of that false allegation mm -hmm. so what i can do i can reevaluate myself at the level of sanskar otherwise at the level of body only few things has happened his words has come into our body some sensation has taken place that's all now what other things are happening is happening in my consciousness in me this we can handle if i am aware mm. of my potential mm. that's why we did step exercise 1 step 1 to 7 and all those steps helped us to be aware of my potential to be aware mm. of my sanskar to reevaluate of my sanskar on the basis of this relationship harmony and coexistence so exercise 1 helped us helped us to become aware of our potential mm. so that's why we are saying that we have to do this exercise too with the background of exercise 1 mm -hmm. so when i am reading this sensation those words now i have to be aware of all those selves then i will not be a victim of his or her behavior mm -hmm. so this we have to do the thing thank you so much bhaiya okay, now i can see uh, how the steps are making meaning and sense to me bhaiya thanks a lot bhaiya right. yesterday the whole day i was thinking about this only bhaiya all the past but i could see where i was going wrong thank you thank you so much yes. bhaiya that's it and, from my side it is very thanks interesting so and it is very interesting that you have interacted with that person for a few moment or a few minutes but you are getting victim 24 cross 7 ji ji true right and we are getting victim because we are not aware of our potential that i mm. 
can be feeling of i can be with feeling of relationship we have this potential even mm. if other person is uh, making false allegation mm. right so if i am aware i will not be victim i will make a right program mm. what to do with that person this we can do right didi thank you thank you so much bhaiya lots of hope and uh, scope for improvement bhaiya thanks a lot yes didi uh i would like to share my recent experiences uh, that associating meaning to the uh, sensation uh, the based on four uh, sources uh, first one is behavior of others so regarding this uh, recently i accepted an uh, invigilation duty of uh, tnpsc examination conducted in our college on one working saturday when i was reporting for the duty uh, two of my colleagues uh, questioned me that madam why you came uh, can't you alter someone to take care of this uh, so these are all the questions so they have some preconditioned mindset on me and i responded with a smile and that uh, nothing wrong in it it's also a part of uh, our responsibility and moreover i could receive a remuneration for the same and i am practicing since i am practicing uhb and i didn't mind this uh, that is i taste the sensation and i also associate meaning to the sensation in conjunction with my present sanskar uh, that is based on knowing and regarding the uh, second source the physiochemical event uh 10 days back uh, my sister in law has been affected by ischemic stroke and uh, i accompanied uh, with her in uh, uh, the 108 ambulance under critical condition uh in the hospital when uh, taking ecg uh, she vomited and i held it and cleaned i stayed with her three nights and took care of her uh in emptying the urine packet and feeding liquid food through nose pipe changing diaper and so on so earlier when it is happened to see anyone vomiting in front of me i used to react badly and keep a long face or in opposition but now i am doing everything without any uh, opposition or any negative sensation and uh, next re- regarding the event of the body Uh, for the past 6 months i have been experiencing uh, the shoulder pain mild shoulder pain in my left side and i shared this about uh, uh, with my family members i think uh, since i am traveling about 3 hours uh, every day and this might be the reason and i thought uh, for going to hospital but it was getting delayed now i started doing some uh, basic uh, yoga and i feel the pain uh, only when i concentrate on my shoulder otherwise i it won't and uh, regarding the fourth one imagination in the self uh, my second daughter has been uh, uh, allotted a btech ict in sastra university tanjore and uh, through online counseling on 3rd of uh, this month uh, actually i supposed to pay the tuition fees within 5 days through online mode to confirm the seat i paid through upi id and i thought the payment was completed but i came to know that uh, no after the due date that is on 8th july uh, 9 am and uh, that is the payment was failed and i was shocked and I tried to solve this uh, with the bank authorities but i couldn't and i also tried to convey this to the college authority over phone but that also i couldn't and i became anxious and immediately i booked a car to reach the college and uh, all my family members uh, said that it would take uh, around uh, four hours and uh, i can't reach the college within working hour but uh, i have the confidence and started from madurai to reach Tan- tanjore and my anxiety was gone when uh, i got inside the car and on seeing the idol of lord shiva uh, in the car i strongly believed that i can reach and i reached the college within uh, two hours uh, through shortest route and met the officials and the purpose was solved 
and uh, so this was this uh, these are all my experiences and thank you so much gobal bhaiya and all the co explorers for uh, enriching me in the path of uhb thank you thank you all okay didi nice sharing didi thank you bhaiya you are able to see all the events step by step yes bhaiya is that role of body is very definite so the role of body is to convey outside information to me and if i think it is important the information i can take this information if i am not interested i may pay attention to other objects so here we have a choice Yes. So if I am able to see that we have a choice, yes. first step is is in reading the sensation or not reading the sensation. I have taken decision to read the sensation. Then I have again choices when I am giving meaning to this sensation. Yes. Right. So I am yes. reading the sensation. in conjunction with my sun so at the level of sanskar i again have a choice i have a choice and i have a potential yes so if i know that i have a potential you know to rectify my sanskar so there is a choice to be in a reaction or to be in a state of response then at the level of body i have choice to read the sensation or not to read the sensation and when i am giving meaning there is another possibility you know how i give meaning to that particular sensation so as a consciousness we are with choices the more we are aware about ourselves the more choices we will be able to explore within me within ourselves that's why these step are important to see body to see consciousness by this step is very important you know as didi shared that many events are taking place now she is not in a reactive state she is handling all the events peacefully comfortably you know? and we all can do this if we are aware the interaction between self between me and the body so if we are aware we can all of us has potential to handle outside the comfortably okay didi thank you right thank you thank so, you sir yeah thank you all so for 5 minutes we can practice this exercise at your place where you are so we can sit comfortably and this time we will observe each step what has happened at the level of body you know what has is happening is when i decide to read aware i am acting then i am i aware what are working when giving meaning to this session i take decision in my in in me am i aware then i again instruct to body to express outside and body follows it am i aware all these steps or not this we have to observe so this observation is very important otherwise we think that events are taking place very fast something happens outside and i react immediately it is not happening happening immediately actually we are not observing it step by step that's why it gives impression that it is happening immediately but if we observe step by step we can see it is not happening immediately so for next 5 minutes we will observe the sources of sensation we will observe when i involve my body when i involve in me when i involve my body to express 
myself outside so let's sit for five minutes and we will come back with your observation
so let's come back and we can take one observation so bhaiya actually i am observing from yesterday 11 all the time since i was in travel and now also for 5 minutes i have slowly gone through it so my uh, this observation is that it is very clear that step uh, 5 uh, 4 uh, a b c d number 4 that's actually whatever is the sensation uh, happening in the body physiochemical reaction particularly i am talking about the hunger now at at this time since it is 6:30 around so we started we all four by 11 am from the iit kanpur and we are on the station by one hand all the time in the traveling. So though the sensation of hunger was developing in the body or physiochemical action in the stomach, but it was me to read the sensation because knowing that it was based upon the, um, you can say right knowing, assumption was there, but it was based upon the right knowing that whatever be the limited food we are having, it is there, we won't get the additional food because we don't want to eat the food outside. So we are very nicely, we can take the sleep and at 8 p.m. night, we used that mangoes given by the Aparajita Didi and some chuda and whatever be the things we wear. So it would have, for this whole day, we had consumed three times meal in the IIT candy. But for the same body, same person, so it is all the sensation of I, and it was all very nicely. So by 4 a.m. we could um, come in, in the Kapoor with all my morning activities. I am continuing the sessions for two hours. By year. So definitely whatever you are, I, I heard with the Gita Didi also, Maithili Didi also, it is very correct what you are giving the steps. It is only me who decides the, about the sensation, whether to read or not. Thank you, Bhaiya. Thanks a lot. Namaste, sir. Yes. Nice, Bhaiya. So it is very uh, when we are at a station, railway station, mm -hmm. you can hear many announcements. You can hear people talking. Mm -hmm. Many sensations here. But when we want to talk to next person, and when we take decision to talk to next person, and at that time we don't hear any other uh, sound, we listen Jee. only to that person. Jee, but sound are coming at that time also. But I decide, yeah, yeah, what to read, what not to read. Jee. So railway station, hospitals, you know, places where crowd are available. Yes. See these choices very clearly. Mm -hmm. right? And similarly, as you shared that feeling of hunger. Mm -hmm. So this is an information only. Now yes. I have to decide how much food I have to give to the body. Yes. Right. In that sense, I am doer. And I can read that function. In that sense, I am seer. And when I give food as per need of the body, then I feel comfortable inside me that I have treated my body. In that sense, I am experiencer also. When I nurture my body, I feel comfortable within myself. So in that sense, I am seer, doer and enjoyer. So this is very interesting. If we focus on all these steps, we will see that we are with many choices. We are not bound to read each and every sensation. And once I read the sensation, I am giving meaning to it. Again, I can see my sanskars are involved. <laughs> so it is a matter of observation. The deeper I can observe that transaction between me and the body. So hmm. this is very interesting. And as all of us are doing this exercise, we can see all these choices. We can see the role of body. We can see the role of sanskar in me. Yes. And if we practice early, we can see that body is only an And we use our body very for very less time. Yes. 
very less time yes definitely definitely yeah it is all maximum as told by ganesh ji 99% we are with the i requirement of the body is only 1% ji 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 thank you thank you thank you gopal ji namaste sabhi ko dhanyawad thank you namaste i will request to tara prasanna bhaiya and request to all co explorers that keep practicing it see the transaction between me and body step by step hai na step by step observation is very important so if we observe action between me and body step by step we will be able to see na, many choices we will be able to see my sanskar how my sanskar take decision when i take decision to instruct my body and and i will also be able to see that body follows me body have any capacity to take decision by itself so all this we can see if we observe me observe body observe transaction step by step so thank you all now i request sara prasanna bhaiya to conclude the session and start in the session